is March 18th, a rough day for those who celebrated St. Patrick's Day a little too much yesterday. So we're looking for your best hangover cure. Join us on Facebook at Morning Blend Omaha. How many people are watching this show right now because they couldn't go to work today? Just like rolling around, <laughs> head hurts. Trend setting, authentic, and defying the norm, the ICANN Women's Leadership Conference prides itself on being ahead of the curve. This year, the event's 22nd suggests it's time to re-examine the very definition of leadership. Yeah, and Allison Shore, she's here to tell us why. Allison, it's good nice to see to have you. you here. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks for having me. stopping by this morning. So tell us more about the redefined leadership sure. theme. So when we were looking at the theme that we wanted to feature for the conference this year, we always want it to be current and relevant to what's going on in the world, what's going on in our local community, and just the business culture as a whole. Mm -hmm. So we want to start a new definition of leadership at this conference and talk about how we feel that taking into the ever advancing culture of business and of the community and of the world, a new definition of leadership has evolved and we've identified mm -hmm. four traits that mm -hmm. we feel that leaders, leaders of the future will need to have. We to touched be on them before the break. Yes. I'd like for you to elaborate on sure. them and maybe we'll start with um, collaboration. Sure. Is that a good place to start? We can start, start okay. with collaboration. So we have these four C's that we've identified as the traits within a new definition of leadership. So collaboration is absolutely one of them. Um, a trait maybe a lot of people are comfortable or with or understand what it means, mm -hmm. but we feel there's a lot of new takes on collaboration and it's more just about working together. How can you take into account diverse areas mm -hmm. of thought and different ways to work together to be successful. And, and then the confidence. Yes, confidence is a big one. Um, and that's one of the ones we're most excited about. We have a great speaker coming in. Her name's Caddy Kay. She's the lead anchor of BBC World News America. And she recently co-authored a book called The Confidence Code, What Women Should Know. Mm -hmm. And it all talks about closing the confidence gap. What, what we found and what the research that Caddy Kay has found in her book is that women tend to be much less confident than men. They aren't as comfortable negotiating, going for promotions in their career, mm -hmm. asking for more, being confident in their abilities. So Caddy will talk about how to close that confidence gap and how you can really capitalize on your confidence like and be that. much more confident I, in and your I work. See, I see that too. I felt mm -hmm. it. I, I identify with her message. Mm -hmm. What about creativity? Creativity. Um, creativity is an exciting one. You know, it's a way to always be fresh and to bring new ideas and to capitalize on everything that's going on around you and present what you're doing and what your company or your work is doing in a really exciting way. So for creativity, we have a keynote. His name's Eric Wall, and we're really excited about him. He really does a very unique keynote presentation. We have him speaking in the morning, and while he's talking about innovation and bringing creativity into the workplace, he's painting live, oh, wow. and it's flipped upside down, and he's painting some type of iconic figure. Yeah. Um, so it's really exciting. It's a very like theatrical experience mm -hmm. to watch him speak about mm -hmm. creativity, and then he'll flip it around. And then you can see what it is. But you I think creativity is. is really important because it's, it's, uh, it gets you to think outside the box. Absolutely. If you can be creative, it sets you apart from other people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And Compass then the last one. The last one, Compassion. compassion. So compassion really resonates a lot with what ICANN does about leadership development and being authentic to your leadership and working with others. So compassion we wanted to bring in because um, it's really important when leaders are being ethical, speaking to their values, um, working in the global business community mm -hmm. and local. So bringing compassion into the corporate community. So um, there's a couple different ways we're threading that in with a few breakout sessions on speaker about wiring for compassion in your brain and how you approach different things. Um, and some of our keynotes, we have someone coming to speak. Her name's Flora, and she runs a peace through commerce organization about how do you bring peace and developing women into strong leaders mm -hmm. through commerce and the global community centered around compassion and good work. So you should come, do you think? Absolutely. Um, anybody should come. We are um, open to all. It, we have a men's track as well, so it's for women and men to mm -hmm. come experience the conference. We are excited to have over 2,000 leaders at the conference this year. Wow. Um, so it's anybody looking to be inspired for a day of education, to connect with others, um, to come as part of their company, to come as an individual. Um, we also have opportunities for exhibitors as well. And before we let you go, I wanna talk about a couple features. You have an app and then you yep. also, um, you, you're collecting food. Yes. So let's start with the app. Yes, okay, start with the app. So this year we integrated a mobile app into the conference. So it's available for download right now. If you search ICANN Global in the App Store, it's gonna be useful for attendees to gather some information ahead of time, learn more about the speakers and the sessions and get maximize their day of experience at the conference. And it'll also be useful as a tool to reference throughout the day. So definitely check that out. Um, and then for the Food Bank for the Heartland, around our sea of compassion, we wanted to integrate an act of service into the conference for our attendees. So we are supporting the Food Bank with both an online virtual donation drive. You can mm -hmm. see get the link on our website to donate 
funds to the food bank that way, and then also we're facilitating a collection of physical food donations day of that attendees can bring. April 8th is the date of April. the event. Is there a deadline to register? Um, no, but sessions are filling up and opportunities are filling up, so I'd absolutely say register as soon as you can. But yes, the date is April 8th, and we would welcome anyone who'd like to register leading up to that date. Sounds great. Thank you, Allison. Thank, Thank you so awesome. much. Sorry to cough. You've done great. No worries. Right through. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just read this and I'll try not to lose it. Well, it's interesting how this ties in because did yes. you know the workforce is nearly made up of uh, about 48% women? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a lot of ladies juggling to strike a balance between careers, family, and self. Why the focus is on taking time for themselves this month. Thank you.